how-to video on how to make a plastic cover for your mini happy planner or micro happy planner notes. Now, this is an idea that was taken from a picture that Her Name is Savvy posted. Um, Leah over at the Scrappy Planner sent me a photo of it and she had done it herself, but there really wasn't a how-to video on how to make it for your planner, but hey, I figured I got time. I'll go ahead and walk through the steps. Now, I did accidentally cut into this ahead of time and then realized, oh no, I should probably do a video because a lot of people have been asking kind of a step-by-step how-to instead of just, you know, looking at a photo and, you know, trying to do it themselves. So you're gonna need a couple of things. Um, you're gonna obviously need some sort of a micro notes or a mini happy planner. I'm gonna do it on the micro notes and I will tell you how to adapt for the mini. Um, I'll also show a picture of Leah's uh, creations uh, at the end of the video um, as far as what the mini happy planner looks like but we're gonna go ahead and focus on the micro notes now this is custom I've taken um, apart a micro notes and taken off the the mini discs and the cover and put one inch tool discs on and a custom cover from my shop so we've got a little bit of well some more more special going on um, now this cover is in my shop, but not glittery as you can see here. Um, I just wanted to use fancy paper. So you'll need that. So a mini or a micro happy planner and set it up with whatever cover you're gonna use on it that'll go underneath. You're gonna need either a pocket or personal size for a micro notes. Or if you're gonna go for the mini, you're gonna need an A5 um, plastic ring bound binder. Now you can get these on Amazon for super cheap. I forget how much I paid, but I will link the resources in the uh, description below on how to get these. Um, it's just, you know, it's kind of like an iridescent plastic. Mine's a little dirty, but we'll clean it up later. Um, for the sake of this, so as you can tell, I already started cutting it. Um, you will need scissors. You will need a ruler if you do not feel that you can cut a straight line, um, a permanent pen to mark on the plastic here, and then you're gonna need some sort of a heavier duty um, arc punch. Now, I'm not gonna suggest doing the heavy planner punch, even though I can cut through um, 10 mil lamination with mine. Um, I'm actually going to be using um, my arc punch. Now, you can use the tool punch, um, just something that you can get a little bit more pressure and cut through this thicker piece. This is actually, I think, a little bit thicker than, yeah, 10 mil. So I suggest something a little bit more heavy duty. Um, so let's get into it. I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. Now, um, when you do this, you're gonna want to um, first get this. We're not gonna need this just yet. So you're gonna go ahead and snap uh, cut a line um, as close as you can to the rings because you're going to want to use um, as much of this plastic as possible. So I've cut as close to the rings as I can. I'm going to take this snap off here. We're going to go ahead and get the other side. I can cut somewhat of a straight line myself. And so I would suggest making sure you have some sort of sharp scissors because this plastic is uh, rather thick. All right, so um, I guess if you repurpose um, your rings, like maybe if you wanna do a hybrid in, I think if you do it in a pocket TM, these should still fit okay, or a passport um, to do, or an A6 with pocket rings. Um, so I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with these rings here in a little bit, but those can go away. All right, so we're gonna use these. Now you wanna make sure that you're not cutting into any of the snap mechanisms because that's what's gonna keep your micro notes in. So you're gonna take whatever cover that you have here. I'm gonna take it off just to kind of create a template. And so this is the front and this is my front cover. Um, I'm gonna flip it over. Oh flip it over here and I'm gonna go line up the edge. I'm actually gonna leave a little bit of space um, past this here, just so I'm not cutting it super duper flush with um, the edge. So that way there's a little bit of some extra coverage, you know, 
around the whole thing. And now it doesn't really matter, like say, even though I'm, I took off the mini disc and I put one inch disc on, if you decide to use classic on your micro, there's no issues with it not being able to fit because um, this is gonna be punched directly into the disc. So there's no like trying to figure out it wrapping around. Now you can, um, you know, maybe do something like that yourself, um, but you're gonna need like your own, uh, oh my goodness. You're gonna need extra, if you can find this like on the actual like roll, you can do that. Now, unfortunately they do not make these um, planners big enough to fit like classic happy planners or the bigs. So um, you will, if you wanna make this for your classic or your big happy planner, you will need to find plastic or, you know, uh, jelly sheets that are big enough to cover your cover. I know, sorry guys. We're working with the small ones with this little, little planner hack. Um, now, if you don't feel comfortable, even if you've drawn straight lines, I'm pretty sure that you can use some sort of a, a guillotine cutter to cut this down to size and still keep that straight edge. Now mind you, I did not use a permanent pen. I just used whatever pen was here because I could still see it. So there's scraps. So this is our front. We've got it here. So as you can see, it is it is covering over everything. So we're good there. I might actually, so I have this here. I'm just trying to see if I wanna trim a little bit more, maybe, maybe not. No, I think we're good. Actually, no, I might cut a little bit more. Here, that's a little bit too, too much overhang. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so, got that. Take that cover off. And we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have that in there like that. making our marks and go back in this clasp piece is getting in my way there you go of course you might want to use a smaller ruler or you know all that jazz I think this is a fun little little how-to or you know for an accessory um, for another added protective layer for your mini or your micro now if you're doing this for your mini happy pair you will need an a5 sized ring binder one of these because it has it's obviously bigger um, I have seen people use the personal size and this pocket size to make a cover for the micros. Honestly, you really just need pocket. So I will leave the personal out of it. Just check this. Got that there. Just want to see how this looks. Kind of see how it measures up. For the most part, is that bigger? I don't really care if mine's perfect, but if you want more straight edges, then I'd say uh, do that. Now, I do I wanna cut my corners? I think I might wanna cut my corners. Now, this is optional. 
you can um, I have a I have a crop that is heavy duty so I'm gonna crop my edges um, I don't even know if they sell this on Amazon anymore it was like almost fifty dollars it was an expensive crop everything straight as straight as possible this is where it gets tricky like if you have something like this that's kind of sort of in the way you kind of have to like well good thing because it's plastic I can kind of just jam it in there can't really do that when it's like dividers and stuff All right, so that's a little bit too close I am gonna eyeball this enough okay so we've got it now we're gonna go ahead and punch for the covers so I'm gonna grab my arc punch here do, do, do. and so let's get my cover again I think I'm, I'm gonna try to at least get I'll grab my straight in real quick I might I might want to make it a little bit cleaner just making a mess. Just give me a clean up that edge just a smidge. So I'm just gonna make some marks just so I know where to feed it in to my punch here. I'm just gonna clean up this edge real quick. Again, you're gonna to want to line up your edges and do a mark just so you kind of know where you're you're sticking it into your disc punch all right so let's try this again nice clean cuts heavy duty no issues no fuss and then because this is the front I'm make these marks just a smidge bit darker Line that up punch that in and so now we've got this super cute still snaps still fits cover here no bad boy up we're gonna go ahead and put our covers back on planners now I did punch this one not with my happy planner punch so that's why it's being a butt right now because my happy planner punch was being a butt and I didn't want to have to make a second one of these so I just went with the arc now the difference between the arc and the happy planner punch is that they are a little bit shorter. All right, so I'm go ahead and grab this and just pop that right on on the disc here. We've got that cover on. We're gonna drop that there. So quick and easy craft. Snap it closed and look at how cute this little happy planner is. The micro with its own now fancy protective cover so 
super simple, doesn't take a lot of time, um, rather cheap materials. Um, because I think this is maybe six, five, six, seven dollars. And sometimes I think they come in two packs for like really cheap, especially like the pocket planners. Um, so yeah, hope this tutorial uh, helps you create something fun. I'm gonna show the picture of Leah's mini happy planner and then you will need an A5 ring uh, PVC uh, ring bound planner to do the mini happy planner. You'd really just need pocket if you're gonna make a micro cover, um, but you can use the personal ones. So hope you enjoyed that and uh, see you real soon for another video.